Hello and welcome everyone, I am Ducky O'Brien and today I'll be covering Saviors of Sapphire Wings and Stranger of Sword City Revisited. It's a double pack of games packaged together. They were originally released on 2D PlayStation Vita and I believe as well as the Xbox 360 for one of the games. It was, it was developed by Experience Inc. and Code Glue, published by NIS America Incorporated. And it'll be releasing onto the Nintendo Switch and PC on March 16, 2021. The current MSRP is $49.99. We're gonna get into it. Again, these once again, these are two games and they've been ported over. It is a dungeon crawler, kind of like Legend of Grimrock. If you played um Heroes of Mind and Magic. Not Heroes of Mind and Magic, sorry, Mind and Magic, like six and seven, they're really old school games. It's sort of like that. Etrian Odyssey. Let's start a new game. I'm gonna play a little bit. It's pretty, uh, pretty grindy. I mean, it's Holy Calendar, year 868. Draco, the final battle between light and dark. Led by the Knight of Light, Zat Len Light, which is a little on the nose there. The Knights of the Round fought a battle to the death in the cold darkness. The historical records, the most faithful account, describe the battle as such. To save his comrades, who the Overlord charmed, Landlight ran to the demonic castle alone. However, the Knight of Light's glorious determination was all for naught. Then Landlight, using the power of the demonic mirror, returned to Death's embrace. The site of the battle. I like how you can't see his eyes. Your holy soul and my crown Okay, so if you look here, again, if you played Etrian Odyssey, it's sort of like that. It's 3D. You can kind of turn around. There's gonna be a map. You don't you don't make the map yourself, but this fills in. Have another dude here. I like how his name is Ol equals Oma. Sword Clay Leos. And that's like, fool, this isn't even my finer form. Could it be that was just an illusion? breaks. We can't retreat. 
Always forward, never backwards. Alright, the volume is really loud, but I can lower it once the game starts. That's pretty much the intro sequence. Defeated in the north. Music is always epic. This is the world of darkness. Oh, it's just my hair covering my eyes. <laughs> Basically, you're being reincarnated. You can change your appearance as well, just between some presets. Let's make him a frontliner. Wow, he's not smart. <laughs> Max Wraith. This is a hundred years later, you get reincarnated. I like how the demons have their own calendar, because we're like, we're cool. Footsteps of a monster. Easy peasy. It's a waifu. Pretty sure Merlin wasn't an anime waifu in Arthurian lore.
There is no pain, cause I'm dead inside. <laughs> you blasted fool. A damn fool of a tuck. So we're gonna go rescue this girl. That's our first mission. Man, it takes a while to kind of get through the beginning part. I remember back in the day when playing Final Fantasy VII, it was basically like a 10 hour tutorial. Five hundred GP. He's like, "There's no GP here," and it just hands me five hundred. Okay. Finally, uh, you can save here. I already have a save file. Now I can lower the volume a little bit. My old ears can't handle it. This is pretty good. Okay. I would probably buy some potions before you go. What is this worth? 300? No, uh... 320, nice. You don't really need armor for this guy, because he barely takes damage, but for the people we're gonna meet, we probably want that. So, alright, now we can start. So if you look on the middle of the screen, that's the map, and you can kind of map it out. You don't have to unless, you know, if you want to, kind of like me. Gaming OCD. People who played Etrian Odyssey, they should look very familiar. You find Saul. You fool. You're, you're not the protagonist. You're not protected by plot armor.
so this part's a little weird, but you can rename and reshape people that you meet. I understand when you're like you are like a floating soul and then you got reincarnated, but like this dude is already alive, so I don't understand how that works. <laughs> change the appearance. Somehow he changes physical appearance. Alright, we'll keep him a fighter. Samurai, what's Samurai? Hmm. We'll just keep a fighter. I named him Doo Doo Head in my main file. Okay. Let me save real quick. I'm also gonna lower the volume again. To a more manageable level. That's a little bit better now. All right, I'm playing with the controller, but you can totally play with the keyboard. I just got tired of rotating the camera around. It's easier on a controller. So a couple of things. Uh, you make classes, obviously. It's a pretty detailed system here. You know, you got your basic stats, strength, intelligence. And it's mysticism, vitality, agi, and luck. You can equip your items or use them here. Uh, you kind of want to boost the defense of your other guys that you get because they die pretty quickly. You can check your skills and when you learn them here. Same thing with the spells. And then you have your main class and you can get a subclass and you can change those at certain points. And you can look up your quest info here. Uh, you can investigate the area in front of you. Usually you want a class with greater luck and it'll say, oh, there's something here. And then when you check it, you usually get treasure. You got like an encyclopedia here. You can look at the map and then you can pick a point and auto travel there. You still will get attacked by enemies. Just keep that in mind. Okay. We have another waifu. She already knows who you are. It's funny because she said a profound name and I named him Doodoo Head. It's like Doodoo Head, a profound name. All right, I'm gonna. You always a Harry. <laughs> Actually, um, she dies too quickly. You get to do the thing of aligning people, you know, based on their class. So if you have some beefy dudes do that, you put them in the front. Some fragile dudes do that, you put them in the back, like rangers, mages, etc. Uh, unfortunately, if you have three people, they're all in the front. Okay, so here we are. We you can map this out if you want. Actually, there's really no benefit other than other than for your own satisfaction. You kind of want to go as fast as you can to your objective. 
Also, make sure you stay close to the exit and spend a little bit of time grinding your heroes up because they don't have a lot of health. And these guys have elemental weaknesses as well. Fire will not work on them, so you can use wind. Also, you can fast apply. Or you can do apply action, or do one at a time. Fast apply will just do everything at the same time. So it depends on your personal preference. I like the uh, fast apply. Okay, so you get XP, and then every time you level up, you can choose where to spend a stat point. Also, that heart on the bottom, I believe, is their affinity to you. So it goes up as you fight more with them. I don't know what exactly uh, it does, because I haven't played a game for that long. But as you can see, they take damage quite easily. So you do want to spend some time leveling them up. Okay, we can show the auto travel feature. So when you leave, uh, they're revived and fully healed. Okay. This guy doesn't have any equipment. Okay. I don't know if you like do anything if you keep this, but we're gonna sell it. I'm just tired of them getting hurt all the time. Alright. Let's save. Don't forget to save. It doesn't save automatically, I think. When you die, you either reload from your save point or go back to the title screen. So, let's keep that in mind. And I'm just gonna go forward as far as I can. To show off what the game is like. Otherwise, normally I would just spend it you know, grinding a little bit. And that, that was just to point out elemental weaknesses. It's a big chungus. Rorone. Another waifu. Looks like you're gonna have to run into the fort that the elven girl mentioned before. 
plot twist. all to level up nice more strength the best defenses and offense Device. So it's telling you to exit. We'll exit and we'll come back here. So, the benefit of fully mapping out the map, or at least enough of it, is that when you use the auto travel, it'll at least take a semi-efficient route. Or if you don't have everything mapped out, then you know, your path may be longer. Yeah, again, normally I would just spend a couple hours grinding. But for the sake of this video, I'm just trying to rush it a little bit. I would also map everything out. Look at that. One hit, like half the health, bro. Alright. Wait, where's my items? Okay. Make sure you switch over to your character. It defaults to the first person. I don't know why. Alright. I made a mistake like that one time. Alright, we can just move normally now. a little bit more <laughs> survivability always dies wow it's a little kiddo but it's like there's a door that the game was blocking off like how convenient to Saul, you're definitely not a noob.
That's a fence. That's a wall. Well, clearly. We did it! A high potion. Stack 420. Alright. Whatever, I'll take what I can get. I'm supposed to go... where exactly? I'm not sure. Bamboozled. All strength. <laughs> mm, give me some more health. Bird leg, delicious. Smash the barrel! Yay! Oh, uh, over here. Just... Oh! My hello there! Advance! Full... <laughs> full steam ahead, guys. We're probably gonna die here, but it's okay! Is this working? I don't know. We'll try again.
I feel like nothing. Whatever. Easy! Look at this saw, don't be a coward. Okay, we should probably save. I feel like I'm gonna die soon. What is this? <laughs> Alright. What? Didn't I use a potion? What happened? Uh, you know what? Forget it. Seriously, uh, okay, uh, attack this guy. Alright. Why do they have such problems killing a frog? Got killed by frogs, dude. <laughs> Good thing I saved. Like seriously, Are you serious right now? I got killed by frogs after I beat a cyclops. Expect me to believe that. I'll try again. What the heck? It's only one frog here. Nonsense is this. Oh, is that a boss? We're clearly not ready for this. This is not the time right now, but all right. <laughs> Healer, thank goodness. is so much easier now.
Doesn't look like a Migmi, it's probably adapted. back again. Probably they're gonna fall off the cliff. It can't be. The legends were true. <laughs> to jump off. his confidence. Surprisingly amusing. <laughs> Kidnap tee hee. The time to go. That looks like a burb. Why is there an anchor? Oh, it's a tail. Okay.
Papalog. <laughs> Wow, this is our crew. I don't think we have a good shot. I'm just joking. <laughs> Shame of all Migmi. I like how you got the castle. Alright. Why don't we call it there? We got the castle. We got our crew going on. I want to save the game, but I can't right now. Oh, there we go. Alright. Alright, why don't we call it there? Once again, this is Savior of Sapphire and Wings. It comes bundled with Stranger of Sword City Revisited. It was developed by Experience Inc. As well as Code Glue and published by NIS America. And it's out on the Switch and the PC. The MSRP is $49.99. It's a nice little dungeon crawler. It reminds me a lot of Etrian Odyssey and those type of games. Anyways, hopefully this gave you guys an idea of what the game is like and hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there. And I will catch you guys next time.